Hi again, it's me, Reverend David Perry from Salisbury in the UK and um, welcome to this uh, second video on um, Breakfast with the Vicar. Today is the 18th of March and it's therefore the day that we remember, if we remember anyone at all, Cyril of Jerusalem. Now Cyril lived between the years of about 1315 and 1386 when he died. That's a long time ago. It's probably as long after Jesus as we are after the sailing of the Mayflower for America. But Cyril was a great man and uh, Cyril saw difference, but Cyril could look beyond difference and he found similarity. That similarity makes us all one family, the family of God. We have our differences, as we have our differences with our brothers and sisters, but we don't hurt them, or we shouldn't. We love them as ourselves. Now, Cyril had a real issue with the idea that Jesus was divine, just as some do today. But what Cyril saw was that beyond the difference of opinion, and a large school of thought did not think that Jesus was divine, while a larger school of thought thought he did, uh, what Cyril saw is that whatever Christ was, he was unusual. He was something quite special and something that this world needed. So Cyril, seeing through the differences, decided to teach the Orthodox faith. He taught other people that Jesus was divine because doing that was more valuable than the arguments that would otherwise ensue. And Cyril's teachings were wise. He instituted Holy Week, for example. He instituted what we now know as the Easter period in the form we celebrate it. And therefore the Lenten period that we're currently sitting in, we owe a lot to Cyril. Simply put, by putting aside differences, Cyril changed the world. And those changes are still in place today, about 1,700 years later. But the truly great thing about Cyril is that he saw something very special. Cyril saw that whatever differences of opinions came out of Jesus' ministry, the good he brought, the value that that man's life had, and the value that he gave to this world, was of far greater value, and of such value that they cannot be ignored or lost in argument. If you have a problem with Jesus' divinity for a moment, just for a short time, this Lenten period, forget it. Spend some time this Lent not giving up chocolate or booze or whatever it is, but add something to your life. Add a short time of contemplation. Don't worry that you don't believe in God or Jesus or angels or any of that stuff. Forget that and instead concentrate on what Jesus did, not what he was. Spend time contemplating what he did and why he did it. Whatever he was and did, he made huge waves at the time. Ask yourself why. And if at the end of that period of contemplation you feel that Jesus was an imposter, fair enough. But if you find yourself face to face with the idea that he was the Son of God, be brave enough to admit it and enjoy the ride that follows. Leave me some comments below and we'll try and uh, think of some videos that you want to watch and some questions you might want me to address. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.